Hello, everybody. <laughs> I didn't expect to be here this soon, but I am. Um, I actually had this ready hours ago, and then um, I fell asleep, and I didn't get it done because I'm not well. <laughs> but um, I took a lot of cold medication so that I could talk through this one. This is just going to be a fun, lighthearted one. Um... I just wanted something to put out so that, you know, I had something for YouTube because I'm going to be working on the Patreon ones and I don't want to, um, you know, rip anybody off kind of thing. <laughs> so you'll get some on both. Anyway, um, if you're new here, I apologize first off that I'm sick, so I am not don't normally sound like this, but if you're new here, I do my uh, videos in chapters. And then after at the end of each chapter, um, I have commercials, which are just funny things, parody, skits, whatever I find funny. So we can laugh at these two fools. <laughs> so anyways, let's just get to it, shall we? So this chapter is called Has No Harry, Your Turn. I don't know where I come up with this stuff, you guys, but I was just thinking about him not having hair. How his nickname is Has. So I don't know. It just came to me. And yes, I have a typo, of course, because it's me. <laughs> Speaking of Photoshop, the hypocrisy, the craziest kid pics the papers actually printed. I have to say the papers so that I just don't get flagged, you guys, you know. Rochel can't Photoshop the truth. Yep. Okay, so the pictures that I've um, accumulated over the last eight months are what I'm going to show you. And some of my um, older subs will recognize some of them. But anyway, these pictures, you guys, I am not kidding even for half a second here. <laughs> That's something us Canadians always say, by the way. I'm sure you've realized it. I always say, not kidding or no, no word of a lie or whatever. It's just, it's a Canadian thing. So just to let you know. But anyway, um, she, M.M., gave or somebody in her camp gave these pictures to papers i am not kidding you so you were going to be shocked at at the you you know you think you've seen them all but no you certainly haven't i promise you that okay so this is one of the first ones well obviously she goes my little princess um okay then Here's another one that we get of um, a fake child with a fake tiara. What in the Sam hell? These are really legitimate papers. I'm not even kidding. This was obviously two years back, but even still. So I left this one in the Hello Magazine just to show you that I'm not BSing, you know. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex hope everyone enjoys these new photos of Archie as much as they do. Yeah, you know what? That kid, as far as I'm aware, turned out to be her physical or her fitness instructor's kid, I think. Anyways, they got really upset and they had to pull the picture, but holy hell, right? <laughs> then there's this one. Wow. So they have one of Archie, quote unquote, the, you know, kid that we've come to know as Archie. And then Lilibet is just, I don't know, she plucked her out of nowhere because who is that child? <laughs> this is one of the worst. Look at that. Archie Harrison. What? <laughs> oh my God. You've got to be kidding me oh my god then we have happy and sweet baby do you guys recognize this child because i don't oh my this is like insane it just gets oh my this one just kills me archie more like his mom mm-hmm 
Neither one of these children do we recognize. How does Lily have all this dark hair and now is a red Oh my. Okay. This one was pretty unbelievable. I mean, as if you can't tell that that child, Lilibet or whomever, his head has been superimposed on that kid's body, whoever it is. I mean, the whole thing, it's a joke of epic proportion, isn't it? And this one was all excited because I guess the Netflix deal or whatever would show Archificial's face. Well, whomever wrote that, um, good luck. <laughs> but no, seriously, what a joke. And then there's this one. Archie has been growing. Again, who is this child? How many have we got so far? Archie takes after his dad in the sweetest way. Huh, really? Okay. Again, another different child that uh, I don't recognize. This one was hard to even believe. I, honestly. Look at that. Look at that. The only one that looks like an, who they are is, is Harry. <laughs> and then I'm sure we all recall this when she colored in this kid's hair. Like, what? Oh, and she has the audacity to stick her face where it don't belong about one picture... Princess Catherine put out and look at the stuff. That's why I'm doing this to show you guys. Look at how bad it is. We all know it's bad, but I, I'm sure some of you didn't realize it was quite like this because it is. I'll tell you when I do research, I see the craziest stuff. I added this because I mean, it was a fake, you know, kid. I, Here's the thing. Look at the strap on her shoulder, especially in the right-hand picture. Look at that. If it was a child, a real child with weight, wouldn't that strap be like almost digging into the shoulder or at least down? It's sitting on top of her shoulder. <sighs> wow. And then her, you know, m mugging for the camera. This is when we knew things were really, really bad. I mean, we always, you know, we knew, but this was really bad. Of course, I must add this Merry Christmas card that they gave to the papers and everybody, you know, sent it out. And it's fake as fake can be. Not only is it in that cartoon style or whatever, the whole thing is fake. Oh, my God. Ugh. I'm just, I can't, you guys, with this stuff with, like, what I mean is, it bothers me so much that Princess Catherine has to go through this over one photo of her real children. Really? I can't believe the papers have taken it this far. I can believe Rochel did, because that's who Rochel is. She's a roach. But... The pay really, you guys, you should have some integrity. Really, you should have some integrity. And this does not show that whatsoever. I, I, it's embarrassing. Like, oh my, 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 my. Okay, so I do have a little article about the BUMP and a new side shot I haven't seen of the BUMP. <laughs> But maybe you have, so we'll see. But before that, I want to get into, a, just real quick, the photoshopping of the two fools. And the reason I want to get into a couple of these pictures, not not heavy, but sorry, I just had a, a drink, um, is because if you look at Rochelle's face, her Photoshop needs Photoshop, you guys. It doesn't look normal anymore, not at all. You know, like the Photoshop should tweak it and make you look better like how it does with has because even you have to admit he looks better in this picture, right? 
Not her. Nope. She looks weird and her face shape changes all the time. So, of course, here she is with her wrinkled shirt, uh, as per usual, and her face. A baby has more pores on its body than this woman is showing on her face. I mean, really? Really? Like, here's the thing. If you're going to Photoshop or edit or whatever you're going to do, which I don't know how to do, <laughs> but, um... Wouldn't you just kind of tweak it a little here and there so that, you know, you look a little better and everyone's like, oh, you look refreshed instead of you look really effed up? I don't know, but that's what I, I'm getting from this. You look really effed up, Rachel. So then I saw this online and I'll just read. The U.S. media recently printed this picture everywhere. Look at Prince Harry's Photoshop new hair and look at Meghan's finger. Oh, um, I'll have to show you. I I don't have it in there. Just a sec. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Now our hand's in there. Okay. Will at AP and at Getty Images be removing this picture as they publicly said they have a standard to uphold? Or do they only target women after surgery? Right? Like, I don't know who did this. If I did, I would give them props, but I, I don't. But I mean, you know, there's the circle of Harry's hair and her hand. Like, and then as far as I can tell, I mean, I just heard snippets here and there. Because like I said, I've been not well. But um, of her putting out that this would never happen to her because she's too uh, attention detail orientated or some stupid shit. What? Please, woman, you've given us the worst Photoshop ever in most of your pictures. Give me a break. Okay, this is starting to show a little bit of what I mean. I'll have a couple more. But um, you can tell it's Photoshop, edited, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, Her crow's feet by her eyes are still showing. Okay, fine, whatever. But you can tell, you can tell. It's not normal. Besides, where is her vein in her forehead? <laughs> you will always be able to tell if she doesn't have a vein in her forehead. And those bloody Omid Scobie eyebrows. <laughs> okay, look at her face, you guys. <laughs> look at her face. Isn't that scary? So... It looks like she edited the crap out of herself. And then I don't know what Harry, if he's edited or if not, but if he is, she sure didn't give two hoots about his hair. <laughs> so I wrote on this, I guess has no Harry doesn't need Photoshop. Doctoring pictures isn't working for her anymore. Because look, guys, like obviously she didn't doctor his because he looks like hell. <laughs> But look at her face. And is it just me? Honestly, tell me. Like, it doesn't look normal anymore. It doesn't. Her nose looks all kinds of wrong, too. But yeah, not normal. I showed this one in my last one, but just real quick, just so everyone can see, you know, <laughs> what a difference. Yes, I made this one and showed it last time, but I'm showing it again. And this is what happens, Rochel, when you are the biggest bully on the planet. We are now going to go hardcore on on exposing you. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm a small channel. I get that. But I do have a lot of shares. So spread the word. Show the pictures. I almost died when I saw <laughs> Because this is something I would have written, but I didn't write this, you guys. It, they had to be Canadian. Good grief. Seriously, there is no way she is 42. <laughs> That's when she um, interjected herself. I think, was it the Kennedy Award? I uh, uh, Maybe the mental health. I cannot recall exactly. I apologize. My brain's a little foggy. Um, 
But that's when she interjected with that hug for that man who was very uncomfortable. This is finally, we're getting real pictures, you guys. <laughs> real pictures, not the crap the papers give us. So, I hadn't seen this photo before. So I thought I would show you guys in case you hadn't. This is just to reinforce my point that even with Photoshop, Rochel, you're looking not like you think you want to. Let's just say that. And the thing is, people will go, oh, that's a shadow for her eyebrows. But guys, it isn't. You know that. I don't know who did those eyebrows, but those are some Groucho March <laughs> Marx eyebrows. <laughs> so here is, I just have a couple pictures because I don't want this to go too long. But um, just to show, you know, that the papers, and this one was the Time magazine, will print absolute crap. And as if they can't tell that this hasn't been edited. Give me a break. This was so dumb. <laughs> it really was. They looked like, I don't know, not who they are, that's for darn sure. They really do have people in their back pocket, really. I mean, my story, my words. Where's your barf bucket, honestly? Another one, lost pain and finding peace. Hmm, looks like he has all his hair there. Not even one little slight little thinning part. Isn't that just amazing? I wonder how that happened. I cracked up when I saw this one because I was like, oh my God. are they trying to make him seem like some sort of sex symbol or something? Because uh, no, <laughs> no. So now we're going to get into reality. And here is picture number one. That looks considerably different to what we just saw on the People uh, cover. Uh, maybe that's just me. <laughs> this is quite the photo. I mean, there's no getting around it that he's lost his hair. Come on. This one's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. And People Magazine put that other one out, eh? Absolutely crazy. And another one. <laughs> I mean, it's at the point where, like, you're not kidding anybody, Harry. You're not. This one's hysterical to me. <laughs> That's where he looks like Beaker. <laughs> this is an in-your-face, hey? Like, you know what he'd be better off doing? Is getting that spray... Right? That spray that you can put on and it clings to your, you know, fibers of hair you have there. And it makes you look like you have hair. I mean, you'd be way better off doing that, I think. I hope he regrets saying what he did about William's hair. Because, like, look. At least William keeps himself nice and tidy, right? Um, Can't say the same for slovenly uh, Prince Harry. And I say that with, you know, sarcasm. <laughs> so I found this little article um, a while ago. It's not long or anything, but I thought it was kind of cute because it's got more pictures of the B-U-M-B, P. Uh, tell me you weren't with child without telling me you weren't with child. <laughs> M.M. will go first. <laughs> so... Because this was a few months ago, it's actually kind of cool because things are changing. But anyways, it says, but here is something disturbing. Anything about her with child gets wiped off the internet. Why? And then I just put a picture of um, Bryn Gringas. She was the one that she was pregnant with Arch Official there. <laughs> it's her child that uh, MM used for Archie, right? Dr. Drake shuts up shop, notifying customers by the paper. Easier than facing her clients. Leaving clients in shock. And then it just showed some headlines there about it. And they go on. 
Franny disappeared off Facebook, yet the hubby still runs his surrogacy practice under a different name and clinic. Franny and Dr. Drake, back in 2008. Huh. There you go, right? Someone wrote, That squished flower mess of a dress was the worst. Came with dents, too. <laughs> dents. <laughs> Hysterectomy at age 29, liar and fraud from the start, has God had, simple fact, then went along with her evil scheme and all the lies. That's the fact, 100. Her best pregnancy photo. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and yes, I know we've seen it, but once again, if we don't keep reiterating it, right, it's going to be dropped again. And no, no. No, no, we're done with that now. We're done, right? So anyways, I just slapped up a couple before we go forward. But this was after Prince Philip admitted to hospital. And they filmed um, that interview while he was in hospital. That's just sick. And yeah, they were taken 24 hours apart. And it is impossible for it to, yeah, the whole thing was ridiculous. Um, I'm sure you all have seen this one, I think. I think I showed it. If I didn't, it's pretty, uh, holy. Like, look where they circled, right? You can tell there's something up there. That's not normal. Now, look at this. The whole thing is plain as plain can be. This ensemble cost 99,000 pounds. Does this include the cost of Archie, I said? <laughs> I'm bad, I know. So here it just breaks down the outfit. Um, to attend a glamorous reception hosted by the British ambassador in Rabat, uh, M.M. donned a stunning golden Dior dress, which was reportedly worth 90,000 pounds. She paired the look with diamond earrings, a gold clutch bag, and matching 590-pound Dior shoes, with the whole outfit costing a staggering 99 thousand pounds how infuriating that people like that waste their money oh. oh you know waste what a waste okay so this is the last picture i have in commercial but i wanted to show it to you because i've seen of course we just looked at pictures of it but i didn't see it like this compared you know what i mean what a big difference. Hey? Like this was what this was the same event? How why would I what I don't understand honestly, this is the truth. I don't understand why she couldn't have her uh bump um be the same size throughout an event or whatever. Why did it always change up and down all the time? I don't understand that for nothing. I just don't. So basically, this chapter was just a reinforcement of the staggering, glaringly apparent Photoshop Megan allegedly <laughs> puts out there of her Harry and the Invisicids. So the fact that she went this far with this other thing it's just a wrong move. It was a wrong move. But she does that a lot. Wrong moves, right? So, okay, let's um see some commercials. And then we'll do the last chapter. Year was 1970. In the Vietnamese jungle. Mm -hmm. With heat so thick you could feel it like a blanket. Wrapped around your body all day. We got caught in a... Friendly fire, napalm, air raid. I could still hear the screaming. Mm -hmm. Smell the flesh of my brother's burning. Mm. I held my best friend in my arms as he screamed. I picked him up close to me. Half his face was blown off. He looked at me and he said, Just tell my family I love them. I never got a chance to tell them. I know what you mean. <laughs> this one time, I wanted to fly in the cockpit. <laughs> and they said no. And when I was growing up, my family called me a ginger. 
What? I guess they've always been obsessed with color. Who the hell is this guy? I was clearly a dig at Megan as well. What in Sam hell is this? Sounds very helpful. Wow, yeah, that sounds hard too. Oh. 1942, the first black hole was detected. I beg your pardon? Excuse me, Prince Harry? What's the problem? Isn't that a dig at M? What is M? You mean MC squared? That's relativity, not black holes. So, thoughtful. <laughs> this is astrophysics, Harry. And I love space. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me the circus was in town? Can we go on the Ferris wheel? I don't think it is a good idea. Too many paparazzi around. <laughs> Stay focused. We are here to find someone that can read our energy and see if there is a spirit in our home. Gosh, there are so many in here. They will only take one at a time. So you start there and I will go here. Hi, Andy. Good to see you again. Hello. Welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Don't tell the wife that I have seen you before. She thinks our house is haunted. Can you do a reading and tell me if I am going to get out of this nightmare? <laughs> and what are we going to read on today? I'm not sure it really matters, but we're going to have a good time. I am famous and I am looking for someone to tell me if my house is haunted. I am now known as Lord Famous Fortunes. Can you we have royalty in common. I am also a noble one. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> Let it be known. Let it be known. As far as I'm aware, I am the first <laughs> Lord Tarot Reader. <laughs> Let it be known now. I want it to be broadcast to the world. I am now to be known as Lord Famous Fortunes. <laughs> Lord famous fortunes. Let it be known. Uh, and a good time, of course, up up our up our sleeve today. And let's get into this. <laughs> All right, what do we have? The devil. <laughs> the devil. The devil joins us today. <laughs> Welcome to the Tarot Knows. Spare me the introductions. I need to know if my house is haunted. <laughs> That's interesting. It's haunted by a child. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, it's, um, gosh, it's somebody that was thrown out of the cold. But my husband is still alive. <laughs> are you sure you are legit? So, yeah, I would say it's haunted. Seriously, the last thing I need is a hateful ghost bullying and harassing me. You can't make this shit up. I will have to tell Sunflower Stinks to add hate ghosts to the list. And as was mentioned, as I've said before in Star Wars, where Princess Leia said to Grand Moff Tarkin, the more that you squeeze your grip, or words to that effect, the more star systems that will slip through your grasp. <laughs> I thought I would finish the uh, skit from the other day with HG Tutor. Too funny. Okay. Blind items, online bits and bobs, echo water cooler gossip, and some nice footage of a different royal. We have two blind items today. I have to admit these are slowly becoming my favorite things. <laughs> okay. It isn't shocking that this permanent A-list comedian host doesn't remember the illiterate one. No one does. It is why her career was so lukewarm. There was nothing that made her stand out from anyone else. And now some comments, because it's another one of my new favorite things. And like I said before, I love it because it's not a specific platform. It's just literally anybody who wants to write something. Okay. Howie Mandel, the host of Deal or No Deal and MM, he doesn't remember her time on his show because there was nothing that made her stand out from the other girls holding briefcases. <laughs> M, no more on that lying cow, please. <laughs> Flat Markle, stiff as a board, bright as a feather. <laughs> Someone says, I think this is Andy Cohen. Howie Mandel isn't permanent A-list. Andy Cohen admitted that he didn't remember meeting her twice, once before Suits and once during Suits, and that she tried hard to get booked on one of his shows with no luck. 
the evil creature known as me again <laughs> lying her ass off markle there is something that made her stand out though her monstrosity cruel bullying She's the most hated woman on the planet, and the entire world is laughing at her thirst for attention. She would make Joseph Cobell's turn to, in his grave. It was It's why she's now head of the SS. Well, yeah. Someone says, what a lack of respect for Megzi. Who isn't aware now of the story of the young Megan in the dish soap? A preteen who single-handedly changed the course of advertising history. The time has come to recognize her achievement. In the United States Capitol, there's a statue of Rosa Parks. Rosa had been on that pedestal for long enough. Just one point of comp comparison. Cheapo Rosa traveled by bus. MM only by private jet. That's class. Surely the time has come to pull Rosa down and erect a sculpture of a true modern crusading heroine, M.M. <laughs> Brilliant. Shall we start a crowdfunding for the new statue? Hers is a story of inspiration. Spread your legs for a prince and you too can become important <laughs> and live happily ever after. The list is long and a little bit distinguished. Megzi even managed to write to First Lady Hillary Clinton to help her change the dish soap ad before Bill Clinton was even elected. She lives in the fourth dimension. <laughs> M.M., what's my motivation, Director? Your motivation is to stand up straight and smile and open the briefcase when we tell you to. M.M., okay, just as long as I'm not objectified. <laughs> People are so funny. Someone says, she says she left because the show only focused on her looks and her, not her intellect. What intellect, M.M.? <laughs> Complaining they made her wear an unnatural padded bra. Oh, yeah, okay. With all the work done she's had, <clears throat> with all the work she's had done to her face and hair. Someone says, skinny token half black girl she really didn't stand out looks wise and her overacting is laughable to quote the spotify executive no real talent anything really <laughs> then i found this so i know it's howie but i'm not gonna read like the whole thing out right but it says deal or no deal howie mandel didn't remember mm but kept special keepsake <laughs> that's hilarious I'll read the other blind last, so, but in between my little bits and bobs here, um, somebody had said to me they'd never seen a picture of M.M. smoking, so here you go, ma'am. <laughs> Here's a picture for you. A very, very lovely sub sent me this, um, so I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know. Uh, it says Teeny Weeny Preggers because... Like, her tummy does look like, you know what I mean? So, I can see why she sent it to me. So, I just thought, you know, I'll just, like I said, throw it out there. I don't know if it's true or not, but I like to bring you guys what's out there. Another photo, a different time. And, like, really, let's be real. Her tummy does not stick out like that naturally, right? So, what's up? And I know she's been pregnant more than once. I know that. So I'm wondering, right? But we won't know yet, will we? And so then I saw this and I was like, oh, I just got to put it up there. Because someone wrote, anyone else notice how tiny uh, MM's legs are? And I'm like, where's her ankle? <laughs> And yes, I don't care if I'm being mean to her. I don't. She deserves it. So if I sound like a meanie, oh well. <laughs> I'm not mean to anybody else in my life. So there you go. But yeah, those are some pins. <laughs> and in this picture, because someone else in my comments had mentioned about this. And I was like, oh, I have a photo. <laughs> 
So I wrote underneath, one steps out with actresses, one does not marry them. Exhibit A. <laughs> the thing is, you guys, these are on separate days. Oh, my God. One of them was when she was hitting on Serena's husband there at Wimbledon there. Someone says she had a wonderful night. What's to hide? Oh, good grief. The crazy thing was, is that she was, like, involved. Like, she was the part of the RF. What are you doing? Why aren't you wearing pants, woman? Like, oh, my God. Embarrassing. And I also stumbled across this, and I was like, hee hee. Oh, dear. The publisher of Prince Harry's fantasy novel, Spare, failed to recoup his advances for the book. So not only is the book the most returned and dumped book of 2023, it was a massive loss for the publisher. <laughs> and if it goes, you know, that he still sticks with the I lied in there, people are going to be able to ask for their money back and get it because this was supposed to be a true tale, right? What an idiot. And then I just saw this. Prince Harry dealt bitter new blow as book fail is revealed. Calculations reveal a bleak picture for the Duke of Sussex, Sussex who has been who has seen one of his biggest projects slammed as a financial fail. <laughs> I don't I think it's hilarious. Any bit of karma that comes back on these two brilliant. Brilliant. So I don't usually do this, as y'all know, but I came across this clip of the Duchess of Edinburgh and talking about the Duke on his 60th birthday. And it was so touching that I thought I'll share it with you guys. It's like a minute long, but yeah, because I don't normally uh, focus on any other royals, but it was really touching. Never seen or can never be quantified is the effort spent on ensuring good governance for his patronages, encouraging people to support worthwhile causes, chairing committees and think tanks, meeting chief executives, writing papers, speeches, forwards, introductions, the list goes on. Whatever he's doing, he gives 150% of himself. And if all else fails, he gives any energy he has left to our exhausted dogs or laying waste to the garden. Like my father-in-law, my husband never seeks compliments for himself. So when acknowledgement has come his way, it has always been a total surprise to him, which is why I am grateful for this chance to, for once, be able to publicly celebrate and compliment him. He was so happy and humbled when Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth made him a Knight of Garter in 2006, and was equally delighted and moved the day His Majesty the King, who we are both incredibly proud to support, made him Duke of Edinburgh. Both he deserves an equal measure, and I am so proud of the man he is. He is the best of fathers, the most loving of husbands, and is still my best friend. Wasn't that nice? Honestly, I thought that was really sweet. You could tell that she was moved. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so the last little bit here of Blind Item. Oscars. The illiterate one can't even get a phone call from the wealthy bookseller, but the former A-plus list athlete is probably having lunch with him right now because he and his significant other asked her over while hanging out last night. Huh. So, Jeff Bezos is joker-looking GF and Serena Williams, the monarch of Amicrap, Amazon. Bezos and his GF probably didn't invite MM to watch anything with them last night because they were sickened and outraged by the media plug they gave themselves when they once again went to Uvald, Uvald? sorry if I mispronounced that, and made a birthday party all about themselves and then released pictures of it. Bezos could care less about Uvald. I think she'll have trouble containing herself even with an NDA. Cue Scabies next work of fiction. <laughs> she probably thinks she has something on them. She would get a payoff. Money for the kids would work 
could work as in the UK, the monarch is the legal guardian, legal guardian of their minor aged grandchildren. There wouldn't be any legal issues over palming them off to the UK. Charles would be their guardian and a call and call the shots, even if Harry was publicly supposed to be in charge. Megs would never admit she took cash in exchange for the kids, even if she did. It would still reflect badly on her, not Charles, as technically he is their legal guardian anyway. If the Sussexes wish to challenge that, it would mean denying the kids. <laughs> yeah, like they're going to do that, right? Were his grandchildren, which would then take them out of the line of succession. Exactly. One more reason for the family not to take him back. Gosh. Mwahaha. Good, especially after her latest stunt trying to use the tragedy in the family members as a prop, right? The disgusting Megan Marco Lauren Sanchez knows to keep Jeffy Poo away from M, who would wrap her anaconda thighs around his head <laughs> if she thought she could turn a buck. Lord. Serena ditched the yacht home article after she flashed Serena's husband. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that was in there. How funny that I just did that. Okay. Markle and Ginger Vitus can go back to Uvalde to exploit the tragedy a hundred times, but everyone knows what lying scumbags they are. Someone asked me about this with Elton John too, so here's a little bit of info. I thought the Harkles were buddies with Elton John, but they were not at Elton's party. How the mighty have fallen. Not anymore. The grifters weren't invited to Elton John's Oscar after party last year either. Social media gossip is that the grifters were recorded griping about Elton when they borrowed his private jet. Oh, ungrateful entitled. I think they were never invited, which is honestly a bit weird. Yes, Megmel trash talked Elton John. While using his private jet. And of course he caught wind of it. Well of course he did. Okay maybe I need four years. She has got no clue at all. I'm stunned at this level of stupidity. There was a falling out. Something yet again mentioned in spare. Got Elton all sideways. So yes he's another in a long list of people who have been markled. Someone they have falling outs with people who were great to them. Right? It's a cruel world for a failed grifter. Money is becoming a real problem as M.M. continues to expand her wardrobe with expensive, shitty looking on her clothes. While her husband looked like a hobo when they were in <laughs> Uvalde meeting the poors. <laughs> oh my god. When people look at Harry, the image of a massive, stinking, unflushable turd comes to mind. I think he could make a lot of money as a door-to-door -door salesman selling lavatory brushes. He's got the look and can smile on cue. People would probably buy a brush even if they didn't need it just so they could tell their friends they got it from a real prince. And just think, Harry, if you sell a lot of brushes, you could finally get the hair plugs you've always dreamed of. <laughs> Or he could have the bristles on the brushes dyed his shade of red and implanted on his scalp. <laughs> oh, man. Harold could sell Markle uh, made for... <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you can tell I'm not well. This is... Okay. Harold could sell... <laughs> Merkin's made from his pubes. <laughs> it's the only real hair he has left. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. That was funny. <laughs> oh, Bezos may not have any taste, but at least he has enough brains to stay away from Smiggle. <laughs> Lauren Sanchez, it is rumored, sent Smeggle on a wild goose chase to another country, then left her high and dry without transportation home. <laughs> That's good. Where's that Oprah? What? Well, LOL, Dirty Sanchez for the win. Tell me more. Was it a movie premiere? Really, LOL? <laughs> 
What can M.M. say that hasn't already been said? I hope those two don't have anything to do with the horrible rumors about Kate. Of course, they have everything to do about the rumors. Huh? They invent them and pay amplifiers. There you go. They were the ones that started the rumors. Of course they do. I can't imagine M.M. putting... I can't imagine M.M. putting pins on dolls with Kate's face on them. I can. She probably has voodoo dolls of the whole family. Kate's just the one she hates the most. Yeah, I can. She does seances to resurrect Diana to keep Harry. Dolls are not a stretch. And I, I was the one that put the voodoo doll there. I wonder if that's true, you guys. Does she do seances? Well, I've heard that she does black magic and stuff, but that's all alleged, okay? I don't know that, but would I be surprised? Hell no. <laughs> okay, so that was it. It was just a lighthearted uh, video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yes, I'll have some commercials here coming up. But I wanted to leave off with this photo because it's been pulled from everywhere. But I don't care if it's been edited. I think it's lovely. I do. I really do. And... Catherine is a beautiful, beautiful soul, and I just adore her. I do. So, Catherine, Princess Catherine, this one was for you. This one was for you. I desert you again, because after Salome, we'll make another picture and another picture. You see, this is my life. It always will be. There's nothing else. Just us. And those wonderful people out there in the dark. Hmm. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Bookmarks. I hope everybody had a fantastic week and can seriously take the time to sit down, grab their favorite book, and go over some of their own personal bookmarks that they've acquired and held in place in their book so they can go back and read them at any time that they feel like it. Let's get started. We have a special one today. So I'm gonna read some of my bookmarks that I had placed in just a random book that I found. And uh, here we go. All right, let's see now. <laughs> uh, the stress is making me look like a hundred year old sea donkey from lying about everything. Well, I'm getting, what, what? I'm aging faster every day because I know the truth will come out very soon and I will be poor. <laughs> what? Go figure that, what's? I think my husband is stupid and I will use him until he shrivels up like a molding pumpkin. Could you imagine? <laughs> what, what, what is this? Oh, I know where these came from. I, I was, uh, these are like confessions from uh, the confession booth at church. I found uh, when I picked up some scrap paper over there. <laughs> huh. I ovulate when he shows his seven figure bank balance. <laughs> I lost count of the men I used and slept with. I hate children. I'm going to hell for what I've done to my family. I used other family members to try and destroy my family. <laughs> this person's got some serious issues, I tell you. This must have been one hell of a confession day in the old confession booth at the church. Wow. <laughs> I'm aging faster than a housefly. My sins are catching up with me. Yeah, that sounds like she's a... Uh, some, somebody here is uh, confessing, yeah. Oh, <laughs> It's like my children don't even belong to me. They hug and kiss their nanny and call her mommy. That's got to be despicable, I tell you. Somebody's not spending enough time with their children, it looks like to me, from, from, the, from the way this confession here is going. Huh. I live in a world of make-believe, and I shit on everyone and everywhere I go. I'm better than everyone because I'm rich. Wow, that's a confession, all right. 
<laughs> this poor person. <laughs> uh, back hair remover, bunion be gone, sandpaper for my dry scalely <laughs> scaled ostrich legs, iron, ironing board, denture glue, home facelift kit, new electric razor for my ass cheek hair, dance lesson videos, pick up home lobotomy kit, bed bug, rat, roach spray. So somebody's left their shopping list in here. So what is that? I've never seen that before. Anyway, folks, thank you for joining today on this special edition of Bookmarks. We hope you enjoyed every minute as much as I did. <laughs> I don't usually do this right after, but um, I thought I would probably remind you guys about um, the videos that are coming on Patreon, um, where I'm going to give you guys a lot of answers to questions you've had for the last five years. Um, and no joke. <laughs> No joke. So I will put up the Patreon, like the link is already up in my uh, community tab. And and guys, you should really actually check it out. I put up uh, funny stuff daily on there and also whatever is going on with the channel. But anyways, the link is there. Um, my old videos are up right now. It's free just to check it out and go in there and whatever. Uh, I don't have it set up yet for the videos that are coming. But also, I was going to ask you if you could put in the comments if you would like um, a live after to answer questions, because I would prefer to answer that it that way than in the comments. But let me know. Anyways, thank you so much. Um, I made this one light on purpose, this, this uh, show, because there's a lot of heavy coming up. So yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed. So we will see you in the next one. Bye.